A top Qatari official confirms efforts are underway to release three child captives being held in Gaza. Online support for Israel drops significantly as the grim realities of Gaza war come to light. And in sports, Qatar's Al Dahil has been eliminated after Al Nasr powers through in the AFC Champions League. Hi, it's Fatma, and you're watching the Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar said it is sparing no efforts to release three child captives being held by Hamas in Gaza during a meeting with families in London, Doha News has learned. The families met with Doha's ambassador to London, Fahad bin Mohammed Al Atiyah, to appeal for assistance to return the children. In a statement to Doha News, Al Atiyah said, quote, We assured them that no effort is spared to resolve this situation and that we are working to end hostilities and unite people with their loved ones. And now, online support for Israel has drastically dropped one month into the brutal war on Gaza. That's according to The Economist, which found a sharp decline in pro Israel content on platforms like Instagram, X, and YouTube. YouTube between the 7th of October to the 23rd of the same month. On the other hand, there has been a spike in pro-Palestine content reflecting a major shift in global opinion. And finally, Saudi Arabia's Al Nasr managed to secure a 3-2 win over Al Dahil in the AFC Champions League match on Tuesday. The game at Khalifa International Stadium pulled in more than 36,000 fans. A hat trick from Al Nasr's Anderson Taliska was enough to impress the crowds and secure the next stage of the tournament. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website and download our app.